Hello everyone. In this example, we are going to apply operations count approach for matrix addition. First, what is the procedure is uh, we have to find out the basic operation in the given algorithm. Here, this is the declaration, so which is not a basic operation. Then control part, this is also not a basic operation. This is inner loop of control part. This is also not a basic operation. Then here, you look at that, we are performing the addition of two matrices and assigning into the new matrix C. So this is the basic operation in the given algorithm. Now, we have to cal uh, calculate how many times this basic operation will execute. You look at this, uh, this uh, row will execute uh, n minus 1 number of times. Okay, n minus, one num uh, n minus 1 number of times it will get inside the for loop. At the nth time, at the nth time it will not, uh, it will execute, it will exit, it will exit. And so for n minus 1 number of times, uh, it will uh, get inside the loop in the inside the loop we are having the inner loop j which is also will execute for n minus one time so for this a operation okay so for uh, the for loop uh, for i okay it will execute for n minus one time and this uh, inner loop also will execute n minus one time so here uh, it will execute um, uh, frequency frequency is n minus 1 into n minus 1 time right so what is the time to uh, uh, what is the time consumes by this operation for each time it will consume one unit of time each time it is executing so the basic operation is found that is the addition and the execution time for the basic operation is found one unit of time or constant unit of time we can say uh, the frequency of the basic operation is here n minus 1 into n minus 1 time. So when you are multiplying this, you will get uh, n square uh, minus 2n uh, plus 2. So here, when you are getting this one, what is the higher order term? The higher order term is n square. Uh, then lower order terms are 2n plus 2. So as per the uh, algorithm analysis procedure, we can ignore the lower order terms 2n plus 2. Then higher order term is n square. So the basic uh, operation is executed for n square time. What is the time it is consuming for uh, 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 for executing each time. So constant amount of time. So here it is a 1. So 1 into n square, we are getting the n square. Finally, the upper bound for time complexity for this algorithm is big O of n square. The as per the uh, operations count method here, which is not considering other portion of the operations. So that is one of the limitation in the operations count because it is considering only the basic operations in the written algorithm. Thanks for watching.